Every day at Hudson, you have colleagues trying to find you. They may want to pass you a new lead, invite you to a meeting, or ask you a question. Maybe they need to give your phone number to a candidate, check whether you work in the Dallas office, or find out who you report to. Forget Outlook, that's like using the white pages. People are now using Insight to find you because it's easier, more fun, and provides lots more information. The question is, what do people see when they find you? In this video tutorial, we'll show you how to manage your personal profile on Insight so that you and your Hudson colleagues can get connected. Let's get started. You are looking in the mirror every time you visit the right side of your Insight homepage. Click on your name. Do you like what you see? This is what people who find you on Insight will see when they view your profile. Basic information like your title, office location, phone number, and where you fit into the organization are pulled into your profile from PeopleSoft. There's also things you won't find on Outlook that are automatically populated in this area, such as who you report to and your closest colleagues. You need to click the details link to tell your colleagues the rest of the story. The Edit Details screen is where you fill in professional and personal information about yourself to help others get to know you. If you had 30 seconds in the elevator to introduce yourself to a new employee, what would you tell them? Take some time to create your elevator speech in the About Me section. You can use simple text formatting like bold, italics, and bullets to emphasize your points. You can even add hyperlinks to other information about you on the web. Now you should add a picture of yourself. Just click on Choose Picture and select a JPEG or GIF headshot from your desktop. The software will scale your picture to around 100 by 100 pixels squared, just in case you want to be precise with your cropping. Oh yeah, be professional and save the Bart Simpson or the Chicago Bears avatar for Facebook. Others want to see the real you so they can say hi when they meet you or just put a face to a name for their next email exchange. Now add your responsibilities skills, past projects, interests, and schools into their respective fields separated by commas. Clicking on the plus icon next to the responsibilities and skills fields will allow you to see what keywords and descriptions your colleagues are using so you can select some of the same ones. This helps the people search function find employees with like skills using common terms such as recruiting or business development. Before we move on to more advanced topics, I recommend that you click the Save and Close button. You should do it periodically as you edit your profile, just to make sure you don't lose any of your work. With that, let's move on to some of the finer details of your user profile. You have control over who can see your information. There are drop-downs next to most fields that allow you to select who will see what info. The default is everyone but if you only want your coworkers to be able to see your home phone number, for instance, you can change that field to colleagues. Only those people who are on your colleagues list will then be able to see that information in your profile. The URL for your primary team site and office site can be changed within your profile. You can use these fields to change which sites feed information into your Insight homepage. Click on the plus button to the right of either field. This will give you a list of all the team sites or office sites you are allowed access to. Select the site you'd like to change to and click OK. There's read-only data at the bottom of your profile. This information is synchronized with your PeopleSoft employee record. If you need to change any of this information, please submit a ticket to the IT Help Desk. The last thing I'll mention is how to easily track your internal network. You'll notice a feature called Colleague Tracker on your Insight homepage. This is a customizable list of your favorite Hudson employees who you contact often or who you'd like to network with. Click the Change link on the Insight home or click Colleagues on your profile to get started. Start with the Add Colleagues button. Insight will suggest people to add by looking at your Outlook inbox and personal contacts. 
You can also add context manually using the search box. Next, you decide who should see the colleagues you are adding and how to group them. If there is not an existing group that meets your needs, you can create a group right here. Having a good colleague list helps make people searching more useful and keeps you up to date on the activities of your colleagues on Insight. Well, that's it. I hope you'll take the time to fill in just a few details about yourself on your Insight profile and add some colleagues to your colleague tracker. When you do, you become part of a rich network of Hudson professionals helping each other achieve success through people every day. Thanks for watching.